What up y'all and welcome back to another one. We are not in Kansas anymore any longer Me and mama We're, Whoa easy Catch yourself. Hello, table. We just got here finally out of the car seven hour seven hour drive Isn't Yeah, it? oh with your ass. Yeah, I know I get pretty I don't know not road ragey look at the <laughs> little bit a not, little, we're not no. gonna lie here a little bit you got a little I get tested at, well you know what gets old is just all, I mean how many construction <laughs> how many construction sites oh we go God, through hours of, yeah. how many traffic jams I, at least I three get it, but at the same time oh hey. so yesterday I just got back from from banjos you all seen that video up there and I've just been driving so much I was so ready to get out of the car but we're in Dallas uh, we're staying at the Westin and this is our view we are here because old Bethers my wifers Beth. finally um, finally, finally. <laughs> we'll finally just found something awesome and it came along it worked and, for something awesome yeah seven years of school um, just didn't even, not even waiting on it. Something just came along and it was the right deal. And we're down here because she is getting some training. Doing the training uh, before the new career launches off and we're pretty darn excited. So, long story short. Mm -hmm. So Bob was like, oh, <laughs> can I come with you? And I was like, uh, that'd be cool. Like, yeah, we could have a date night. And he's like, well, I was thinking about hog hunting. <laughs> it worked Sorry. out. Yeah, it worked out. That way, she can have her... She, on these deals, you like to come back and at 8, 9 o'clock, you're going to have your study time. I don't need to be shoved up your rear, bothering yeah, you like and you're not bored. Gonna be, I'm I, not going to entertain you. I would you. be bored. You know, just be like, yeah. what do we I do? would be annoyed and you would be bored. Yeah. So, big shout out to Eamon team. Y'all met him uh, on uh, my first ever hog hunt when we were down here last time. Uh, he's taking me out again. We're going for two nights and hopefully we're gonna get two videos out of it. So this is the beginning and uh, Hopefully we shoot him tonight. He said that the hogs are not moving until very very late He was like so you and Beth need to go have dinner and enjoy yourself tonight We probably won't need to leave until 9 or 10 ish So it's gonna be a late night. I guess they uh, They grouped up the last video y'all saw, and I'm about done here, I'm not going to string this out any more than we have, because I know you all want to get into the hunting. Uh, last time, all we shot was big single males, just out by themselves. Now, all the piglets have really, piglets and just in general, hogs in general, have really grouped up, and they're getting into really sizable groups. So, from the footage I've seen from Estian and Amentine and a few other people the last week, if it's anything like that, tonight's gonna be amazing. And the two next two nights should be amazing. And if they're not pile them up hunts, they're if you shoot one, it's it's a, so much fun. But we're here for her, first of all, and I'm just taking advantage because y'all like the last hog hunt. First of all, tell them what to do. Come on, help her brother out. What? Like they gotta like smash the thumbs up or something. Smash it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Like Bodie. Tons of acting. Smash it thumbs up and make them Yeah, dumb. Bodie Allen, he would tell you, wouldn't he? Yeah. Anyways, we're going to go out to eat and we're going to see you when okay, it bye. gets. Okay, bye. Yep, mm -hmm. close her out now. All right. Reality has set in and we're ready to go. How long a, how long a drive was that? 45? No, it was longer than it, it was longer than it's supposed to be, because uh, I had to get fuel. That's like 25 minutes from the house. Dang, it's not bad. You know one thing I've realized about you Texans, well, we're not used to what's how that? fast you sons of guns drive. <laughs> it's unreal. You talking about me, me, me especially, or just just I in general? I would say this time. I'd say the last time on them county roads, you were blazing a bit. But the, everyone does. Yeah. Is it just a thing like 10 yeah. over? 10, 10 over is average. See, at home it's like if you do if you do above set if you do seven, that's where you you're gonna get pulled. If the over speed at seven. limit is 75, you're gonna get run off the road. That's exactly. all I gotta say. Yeah. Exactly. You gotta be doing 85, 87. You better be hauling ass. I ain't used to it. Man. <laughs> well, we're here. Uh, big 
long story short, big horse ranch. Uh, this is where Amantine found his uh, your rope sat with Yeah, with my Hall passion, County. man. My yeah. passion for chasing pigs started right here. This is beautiful, man. Keeps us side by side out here. And just me and him tonight. Uh, rest in peace, Nicholas. Sorry. I, uh, you might go tomorrow, but this, <laughs> this is a spot. It was a late minute. It was a last minute thing. It always is a last yeah, minute. it was a last minute I'm thing. just blaming it on Beth. <laughs> That's the only reason I'm here. So we're going to get uh, set up. Uh, we're going to go straight into thermal, guys. I, I'm not going to be able to use this camera. It's not going to do any justice. Um, I'll try to pick it up in between uh, stocks. I think that would be all right. Yeah. On this video, I am not, I'm going to tell you right now, if we do shoot some or one or 10 or whatever, whatever happens, I'm not going to be able to film the dead pig. Okay. It can't happen. The last video got demonetized and it got, it got suppressed. Let's just put it that way. That video should have done a lot better. Uh, so we're not going to show any of the blood, pigs, bleeding, gore. Uh, if we walk up on them, I'll try to film with my phone, you know, our reaction and aim and team kind of describing the pig, but I'm not going to be able to show it. Uh, just trying to keep it clean here and not piss off YouTube. So we're going to get going. Uh, same rigs as before, I'm assuming. So let's roll. Before we get going, though, this will be my first night with a helmet. Yeah. Uh-huh. You ain't wearing my helmet. You're going <laughs> to wear that helmet. <laughs> first night with a helmet. Last time. Uh, it was so new for me that Amatine had to correct me and I couldn't see where I was. So it'll be, it'll be a game changer this time. Uh, yeah, you won't get disorientated. Yeah, I, I'll be able to see where, where we're at. Yep. That, where the pigs that's are. That's right, that's right. Those are beauties, dude. All right, let's roll. I'm done. Right. Good shot, Bobby. Good shot, Bobby. God damn. Good shot. Damn. Got a decent part on him. Yeah. The little guy. Not bad. Most of them about that size that you kill, you think? Uh, yeah. We don't really got the big dogs here. He's probably, that's about average. Dude, that, that was, was a good sick. shot, Bobby. Thank you, man. 168 yards. <laughs> I had no idea that I was going to make, I mean, I don't know. It steadied up. He said, just go. Yeah. He stopped long enough. Dude, that was killer. Yes, it was. Well, you all know where we're at. Uh-huh. I thought about making this its own video, but today we're just going to be sitting traps. Just got back from Texas, uh, shot that coyote. That was, uh, I didn't vlog right afterwards because it was dark, I was tired. I didn't get home 
quote, the hotel room, my hotel bed, where my wife was, until 3.30 a.m. So I was just tired, and I figured we'd pick it up here. Uh, a lot of you that are here are uh, regulars on the pest control videos. Um, so here starts a lot of the pest control videos. Let me explain if you're new to it. Uh, I help out a lot of my local businesses in my hometown here about their with, let's say, with their pigeon problems. And the pigeon problems here in my hometown are very, very large. So, we're here, this is my main spot. This is the Kansas Costas Fair here in Hutchinson, Kansas. And uh, tons, it's one of the biggest uh, tourist attractions in Kansas. So, I help them out. I was born and raised doing field trips here and everything else. And uh, they really appreciate me helping them out with their pest issue. Uh, trapping pigeons, number one. It's very legal, not illegal at all. They're a pest, they're a nuisance, and uh, that's why I can hunt them all year long too, which I'm trying, I'm trying boys. But we're gonna sit these two traps, and then we're gonna go to the next rooftop, which y'all know where that is if you've been here on these videos before. Uh, but yeah, the coyote, 168 yards. I actually, if you when you watch that, I was real bobbly. I was bobbling a lot more than I thought, and um, I actually clipped him like, I didn't want to show it, but like right here. It, it wasn't the best shot in the world, but I made it happen. It's a dog, and uh, that ranch owner is going to be very pleased to know that both of those coyotes are now gone, and he does not have to worry about them. When I picked up the traps last year, I have two up here. This one is over here somehow. I did not put it here. I'm wondering if... The Cosmosphere maintenance, maintenance guys were like, must have been using them uh, because it's supposed to be right there. But when I picked them both up, I put them over here in the corner. I stood them up out of the way so they wouldn't blow. And it tells me that probably the maintenance guys, which I'm okay with it, there's corn in the little feed tray. So they must, uh, they must have been using them here, which, hey, I can't blame them and they're up here more than welcome but we're gonna get them fired up here i'm gonna get them in their spots and baited so this is what's really cool and very very helpful about trapping up here on the cosmosphere we got ooh, that hadn't been used for a while some dirty water i'm probably the only one that really ever uses this spigot but i get to man so nice having water on top of the rooftop because at the other place that we're getting ready to go I have to take water up there with me and usually it's like refillable water bottles so this makes it oh that's an old girl i'm definitely the only one that uses that it makes it nice it's getting hot out it's probably 85 today we do all these pigeon trapping videos during the summer um they're gonna fire up we're gonna be catching up to 50 a day 20 a day um probably pretty easily in the next few weeks you have to have water. If you don't have water, they will die in those cages. So it's my responsibility to make sure I'm humane in trapping these animals, even if they are a nuisance, even if they are an issue, and removing them off the property. By the end of the video, I'll tell you what we do with them. All righty, guys, we're gonna bait them real heavy. Put just enough in the traps, but what I mean by heavy is I'm gonna take what I learned last year, and that is, y'all remember this? Yeah. It is steeper than you think, and when you trap 20 plus pigeons up there, and it takes you three trips to get them all in a bucket, carted down, camera, corn, water, it's sketchy. It is so sketchy going over that. I'm 35 and I got them kids, there ain't no way I'm putting my life on the line for some pigeon trapping. So what I've learned, we're going to run this one. This is what we got. I got the mats down so it makes that corn extra visible on the black. Uh, but we're going to run this one. And then our small trap, I ended it up there. And this one isn't nearly as high as that one. And the only reason I like running a trap up there on these flats basically it's the same rooftop up there it's because up there it gives them a little more comfort right 
It gives those older birds a little more comfort to be up farther away, safer to get sucked in by that trap. So. All right, I'll make my mind up. Oh, there we go. Where are you going, buddy? So the Cosmosphere, it's just, it's a hot spot for pigeons. And I don't know if it's because of the rockets, the tall, you know, monuments that attracts the pigeons and brings them here, or if it's just all these awesome different ledges for them to roost on and walk around and strut on. And I don't know. And it's the center of town. I know that for sure. So that's one big part of it. All right. Good to go. There we go. Gonna bait them heavy. Gonna take some, make it really visible. So we are up top on the shorter elevation platform, rooftop, whatever you want to call it. And I forgot that a lot of this roof was exposed here. I'll show you guys in one second. But what it does is present not only the comfort for the birds, but all this room here for good baiting property. On each one of these roofs, there's rocks that protect it. And I probably need to cover a little more of this up. I don't know how it got so exposed. But last year, that's why I used it, was because it makes the corn visible. If you put corn in here, the corn falls to the rocks. Just like down there, the rocks are much smaller, but it's really hard to see that yellow corn. Like this, you can really see it. So, we're gonna run it up here. This is the visual from up here, the views, the hometown. This is the road that I took to high school every day. The high school is right over there. Um, I lived right down the road past that church. Yep, that church right there, right down the road from it. A lot of you know that I'm a huge, I still skateboard when I can. I need to get into it more, but like this is all my childhood memories right here. All me and my buddies skating and can't believe I'm up here making videos on the Cosmosphere now. It's just, it's uh. It's a surreal life, you know. It's, uh, I have a lot of fun, and I enjoy that y'all are here with me. Uh, I'm going to go back down. We're going to bait that one a little more. The plan is, is to really bait heavy, not worry about getting them in the trap yet, but letting the pigeons know the food source is back. All right, so this is the big trap. We're back on the bottom again. We're going to close it up. Oh, man. Feels good to be back out here. Um, and then I'm going to take some bait again and make it really visual. Put some on all these black pieces and throw some out there a little bit. Put some on top of this trap so they can see it. Again, we're going to give it some time here and let the pigeons find all this yummy corn. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's... Yeah, they're going to find that. So again, not to my microphone, I lost my camera. Welcome to pigeon trapping again, boys. But I'm gonna get my bucket. We're gonna go down the dark hole and we'll meet you at the next spot. By the way, if y'all are glad pigeon trapping is back and if you like how I put these two videos together, do your boy a favor. Cause I'll tell you, every thumbs up, every good comment that any of y'all can do um, really helps the brother out and I appreciate y'all, thank you. The owners must have put this little duck on this board because they know I'm the only one that goes in and out of this door. Little Pools Plus Ducky. Big shout out to Pools Plus for always letting me trap pigeons up here. And I'm helping them out too. Like I said, this helps all these business owners out tremendously. I don't charge to do this. I just make these videos. So here's the old door. If you've missed this, you gotta smash the thumbs up button. Every time I start doing these, it's always hot. I'm sweating already. Been a while. Been a while. Whew. Okay, good. Good deal. Look how clean it is. No yellow corn from Bobby laying around. Here is a, uh, man, my bucket's gone. I did have a bucket up here. 
Darn it. I had a bucket right here that I wedged between these two bricks and it caught all my rainwater. I was hoping to have some rainwater up here for drinking usage. Well, just kind of have to work with what we got, boys. So, pretty easy here. Nothing spectacular. Seems like the farther I get it out here in the wind, I always come back and it's down there. So, I'm gonna try to run it about right there. Seems like the closer I have to run it in this corner to keep it out of the south wind, because when we get those spring storms that are out of the south, if I have it out here too far, which, man, I'd love to run it like out here. It's just, how do I keep it attached to the roof? I can't go drilling a hole or anchoring it down. Maybe I can put some bricks in it. That might be an option. I think that all in all, if I could like put it out here in the center of this entire rooftop, right? I'm gonna catch a lot more out here rather than in that corner. It's just like goose hunting. If you find a feed, you want to get where they naturally want to sit. Same thing like this. Pigeons don't want to be in a corner, you know, feeling like they're not safe. So maybe we, I just don't want to lose my trap. If that thing blew off and hit a car or something, that's what I'm scared of. But we are uh, downtown, my uh, hometown, and that is Main Street. Main Street runs north and south through the whole town. And uh, this is a awesome, awesome pigeon trapping heaven due to, I can look over on that roof top right there and automatically, you guys can't, definitely at minimum 20 pigeons over there. So it's a good traffic area, put it that way. But this is our big trap. This is the issue. We don't have water up here like the last spot. I could only find one. <sighs> I'm gonna have to make a few trips downstairs to get some water. All right, so I don't have a lot of corn left. I'm gonna put just what we need in the cage. I always call it a cage. In the trap. And then we're gonna have to really spread what we have out here. So just gonna spread it out. Let them know, again, hey, the food's back. On um, this spot, you got to bait really heavy at the beginning. And the bad thing about it is that south wind again. I throw all this bait out here, and then tonight we get 25 mile an hour winds out of the south. It'll blow all my bait all the way down to the end. So, or it'll blow it off the south, whether it's a north wind. So, uh, one thing I've learned about this spot, just have to keep it extra baited because there's all these rooftop options. And right now I can tell you all them AC units and all this stuff, tons of pigeons have eggs in there and they're, they're having babies right now. And uh, this again, it's not a roost, it's not their home. It's just a food stop, you know what I mean? The other place we're at doesn't have all these rooftops. It's not downtown like this. They go to that spot because they like to roost during midday. I mean, a lot of them go there. So the two rooftops are a lot different um, and you gotta, you kinda gotta treat them a lot different. So I'm gonna get this baited here. Let's hope she works. I am working on a few more rooftops and some other things. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I really hope that you guys enjoyed how I put these two videos together. If you like the idea of that and you want more like this, let me know, but pigeon trapping has fired up. Yes, indeed, it's back. A lot of you have been asking about it and we're gonna get after it. I got big plans with it, what we're gonna do with the pigeons, so whew, it's getting warm out. Welcome back to summer. Let's see what, August, September, October. Too many months to even count until waterfowl season gets here, but subscribe if you haven't. Uh, if you have a video idea related to pigeon trapping or anything else that you would like me to do, believe me, I am down in the comment section all the time, and I really appreciate your guys' input. Um, but other than that, subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell. I've been saying that more and more. It's old school, right? But it helps. Thank you all. Until next time.